In a jaw-breaking talk, ZANU-PF leader, Emerson Umingagwa has publicly announced his said direct descent from the revered Ndebele King Zilakatsi, marking a significant moment in Zimbabwe's rich historical narrative. Speaking on his profound family connections, President Umingagwa disclosed that his great-grandfather was an adopted son of King Zilakatsi, weaving a captivating tale of heritage, identity, and historical unity. Detailing the intricate ties between his ancestry and the Ndebele royalty, Umingagwa narrated, Well, the background is that when King Lobengula settled here, he made a treaty arrangement with Chief Chivi, my great-grandfather, that there shall not be any war between Chivi's people and Zilakatsi. Now, in doing that, Zilakatsi asked for a young child from Chief Chivi, who was brought here in the house of King Zilakatsi, as a little boy. That was my great-grandfather Lebengo. The president went on to explain the significant transformation his great-grandfather underwent, including a name change that firmly embedded him within the Ndebele culture. King Zilakatsi then changed the name of my great-grandfather Mapanzer to Lebengo, a Ndebele name. So, he grew up here, and after King Zilakatsi died, King Lobengula also adopted my great-grandfather as Lebengo, not Mningagwa. He grew up here, losing his Shona language. Mningagwa also highlighted the lasting impact of this adoption on his great-grandfather's identity and language, showcasing the deep cultural integration that took place. He could understand Shona, my great-grandfather, but could not speak our Shona. We talked to him not in the 40s in Shona, but he replied in Debli because he was taken, and he grew up in the court of the king. Upon his return to his ancestral lands, Umingagwa's great-grandfather embraced a new name, Kushinduka, marking a full circle in his extraordinary journey from being taken into the Ndebele royal household to returning to his roots, albeit with a new identity shaped by his unique experiences. This revelation not only enriches the personal history of President Umingagwa but also bridges significant historical and cultural divides illustrating the intertwined destinies of the Shona and Debeli people. As Zimbabwe continues to navigate its complex identity, stories such as these serve as a reminder of the shared heritage and mutual respect that can guide its path forward.